hello everyone welcome to programming knowledge so again welcome you all to programming knowledge so today we are going to learn how to deal with synonyms and antonyms and before we move uh, i'll show you a small topic of how to get like a definition of a word using nltk so let's move to import nltk let's save this file from nltk dot corpus import what you are going to import you are going to import wordnet and then we are going to define sin is equal to wordnet dot sin sets okay and sin sets and uh, i'll going to define the word for which i need the main that is computer and i'll do print sin okay first i'll print sin and i'll do python 4 dot py okay python 4 dot py and you will get the one at the zero index now i'll do print sin of zero dot definition okay so this is the definition i'm waiting for now i'll run python 4 dot py and let's run this and you get the definition so this looks the perfect definition a machine forming calculations automatically so this is how we uh, define a computer uh, so now what you can do now another exercise we are going to do is how to get the like uh, synonyms and antonyms of a word okay so how you can do this so we need this library and this library as well so let's define synonyms synonyms so this should be an empty array okay uh, this, this should be an empty array so for sin for sin in wordnet dot sin sets okay and we can define the computer okay now we define this as a computer and then we define for lima in sin dot limas okay so sin dot limas and synonyms dot append lima dot name okay and now i think we're good to go and print synonyms okay and let's run this file you'll get all the synonyms related with a so perfect match computer computing machine computing device data processor electronic computer so these are the synonyms related to this file okay so in the same way you can also print the antonyms of a word okay so you can also refer to the antonyms of the word so how you can do that I shall comment this out so that would be very similar but a little tricky antonyms antonyms first it is going to be an empty array then for sin in wordnet dot sin sets and this should be a small okay and for lima in sin dot limas okay for for this we'll check if lima dot antonyms exist if it exists okay okay if lima dot antonyms if antonyms exist then we shall append antonyms dot append lima okay lima dot antonyms and we shall get at the zero index dot name okay now let's print antonyms okay now let's run this file now here you can see for small we have got all the three antonyms that is large big and big okay so this is how you get antonyms and uh like you can perform this and uh, this is how we get antonyms so this is like the way we get the like uh, antonyms and synonyms using nltk okay so i hope you all like this tutorial so it was a short tutorial